This project shows how to simply build a set of dry boxes for the Prusa MMU3 multi-filament printer. The boxes will keep your filament dry regardless of the outside humidity and will directly in interface with the MMU3 without the need for a buffer. The first thing you need are the boxes. The one shown here is on Amazon. There is also an alternate which seems to have the same dimensions and can be used. Here now is how you prepare them. The next step will need a 6mm Festo fitting which can be purchased here on Amazon. We first prepare the container body. Note the thin, thick. Three centimeters down, divided evenly. Start with a two millimeter pilot hole. Similarly, on the top, find the vent. Follow up with a three centimeter, with a three millimeter, three millimeter drill. On the side only, I then go up to a four millimeter. And finish up with a five point five, five millimeter drill. And that part's done. The Festo fitting. Then screws into here. A six millimeter bolt. Done. If you want to monitor the actual humidity within the box, these are a set of inexpensive hygrometers which can be added. They are, however, optional. Next, pre-position the nut that, we, that will hold the, the meter holder and the clamp. Put the nut on the Start the nut. Screw it in to draw the nut into the holder. Remove the screw. Voila. Next, take them out. This will mount this way. The hygrometer simply plugs in.
is complete. The bearings and axles for the project can be those from the original Prusa MMU set, uh, setup, or you may buy separate bearings and axles from Amazon or other sources. Note that the axles shown here are slightly oversized and so will need to be turned or worked down so they'll better fit the bearing. The desiccant can be any type, although this particular one is useful because it is a color change indicator which lets you know when it is exhausted. The next step is mounting the basket on the bottom. Take a glue gun, which is very hot. Make sure it's clear here and here. That's it. Then, cut off the ear. We add desiccant. We don't overfill it. Now it fits flat. Place the carriage, ball bearings, Ears. Cut off the excess. Voila. Now, we're going to mount a to cover this. Load it up. Do that.
and you have a sealed container ready to go. We're now printing a tag for the paper white PET gel filament which I just added to the box. I find it useful to print the tag body from the, material, from the filament material and then use a contrasting color for the text. As the filament is unloaded at the end of a filament change or at the end of the print, the filament essentially bunches up in the box. However, the design of the holder with the axles on the bottom and a clamp at the top prevents the filament from overlapping and snarling. To date, I have no problem with the, this type of uh, buffering system. Note the filament humidity in the box at 10%, while the room humidity is 84%. That means you have a happy filament. Having everything in dry boxes has led to a marked improvement in my printing success and quality. At, with a high humidity along the coast during the summertime, keeping even two filaments dry was difficult, not to mention five. This seems to have solved the problem completely.